Vaya para allá. Va para allá, hombre. No sé. Ahí está eso. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Good Hi. afternoon. Good afternoon. How are Good afternoon. you? I'm fine. Yes. Oh, good. Fine. I'm glad to hear that. How how was your how was your day um today? How how has your day been? Pretty good? Yes, yeah. very good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good, good. And uh, what about you, Teresa? How was your day today? Hello, Teresa, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hello, Teresa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How, how are you? Fine. Yeah? Good, good. How was your day? How was uh, your day? Mm -hmm. uh, fine. It was fine? Oh, yes, good. Fine. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And what about Guillermo? How was your day today? Uh, fine. Yeah? Good, good. Excellent. Yes. Eh, y ahora salieron de turno o, o sí, a, ahora salimos. hoy en la mañana. Ajá, vamos de verdad. Mm, I see, ok. Ok, bueno, eh, les agradezco que a pesar que, que pues uh, están un poquito de velado, siempre están ahí presentes. Um, eso, eso dice mucho. Así que les agradezco eso. Que, que siempre estén eh, pendientes ahí de la clase, ¿verdad? Porque eso, como le digo, dice bastante. Um, ok. Bueno, eh, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, uh, vamos a tomar la asistencia, aunque quizás voy a mandar un recordatorio en el grupo. Porque si no me equivoco, no mandaron un recordatorio hoy. A ver. Okay. Okay, bueno. Uh we are going to okay, ya ya mandé ahí la la notificación al grupo, así es que el eh, no nos queda más que empezar ahí a tomar la asistencia. Ok, so uh, we're going to start. Um, ah, by the way, welcome, eh, Douglas. Thank you, teacher. 
How are you, Douglas? I'm fine. Yeah? Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Okay, so let's start. So we have Carlos Armando Duran. No. Eh, Douglas Enrique Genoves. Uh, Ed, Edward Alexandro Alvarado. Eric Fernando Enriquez. Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Gladys Marina Luna. Guillermo Enrique Acosta. Excellent. Jose Eduardo Cruz. Jose Eduardo Cruz. Okay. Uh, Leila Arminda Valla Valladares. Pedro Miguel Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Um, Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Raúl Alfredo Castaneda. Um, Sara Beatriz Valencia. Eh, Susana Guadalupe Navas. Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. Present. And Wilmer Andres Melara. Okay. Ah, uh, veo que se conectó Raúl Alfredo. Raúl Alfredo, ¿está ahí? Hello. Hello, Raúl. Hello. Bienvenido. Welcome. ¿Me, ¿Me escucha, Raúl? Sí. Ok, ok. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Um, ok. All right, so we're going to start. Um, ok. Por cierto, antes que empecemos, quiero preguntar cómo vamos ahí con la plataforma. <coughs> Cuénteme para pues, que les pueda ayudar. Pues en mi caso vamos, vamos al día, digámoslo así. Ok, ok, muy bien. Uh -huh. um, en teoría, pues deberíamos de ya uh, haber terminado la unidad 1, 2 y 3. Eh, ¿Vamos por ahí? Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Excelente. ¿Y los demás? ¿Cómo vamos ahí con la plataforma? Igual, ya vamos, ya voy avanzado ahí. Va avanzado. Ok, perfecto. Ok, muy bien. Sí, eh, como decía, como ya estamos a la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? Ya hicimos cuatro eh, clases. Eh, nos quedarían las últimas cuatro. Entonces, uh, deberíamos de ya estar como más o menos ya terminando la unidad 3 prácticamente. Digamos que hoy ya deberían de, de estar terminando la, la 3, ¿verdad? Con seguridad. Sí. Ok. Eh, ¿Tienen algún problema, alguna duda, alguna inquietud de la plataforma? Pues no, realmente, por mi parte no, yo siento de que es bastante clara y... Me, me gustan lo, cómo dan los videos, los ejemplos. Y sí, creo que está, está, no está fácil, pero, pero está trabajable, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Sí, eh, acuérdense que, o sea, cuando uno va aprendiendo algo, 
eh, debe de ser ni muy fácil ni muy difícil, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. um, debe de ser algo, debe ser un reto. Eh, eso definitivamente, debe de ser un reto, pero un reto que se pueda realizar, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Es, eso es lo, lo más importante. Entonces, si estamos eh, obteniendo eso, un, un reto, o sea, que no es como, porque tam, tampoco queremos que sea fácil, ¿verdad? Porque eh, uh -huh. si es demasiado fácil, no estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, um, debe ser un reto, pero algo que sea posible de hacer. ¿Sienten ustedes claro. que sí lo pueden hacer? Que, que sí, sí, claro, es posible. ¿Sí? Sí, sí. Ok. Sí, es posible. Okay. Ok, perfecto. Y si hay algo en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? Si hay algo en el, uh, eh, en el, la plataforma, perdón, que no les, está, no lo están entendiendo o digamos que ustedes sienten que, que están poniendo la respuesta correcta, pero no les está tomando la respuesta, eh, por favor, avísenme para que, porque puede ser que sea un error en la plataforma. Entonces, avísenme para que yo pueda también avisar y lo puedan arreglar. ¿Verdad? ¿Ok? No sé si tienen al, algo que reportar ahí de la plataforma que también yo le pueda ayudar con eso. ¿No? Por mi, por mi parte, no. Ok. No. Ok, solo acuérdense de eso, ¿verdad? O sea, que, que el punto es de que todos puedan um, tener la, la, los ejercicios correctos. Y si hay algo que no esté correcto, que, como les digo, es, es, es normal que podría pasar de que de repente en la plataforma algo no esté, no esté bien, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos reportarlo y entonces ya todos lo tienen correctamente, ¿verdad? Ok, okay muy bien. Entonces vamos a empezar. Um, we're going to start by looking at some questions. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Um, aún está cargando. Ok. Si sí, es que no sé, está bien lenta mi computadora. Sí. Por eso es de que de hecho me costó eh, conectarme porque no, nunca me conectaba. Ok. Um, all right. So, ok. So, let's start and talk about simple present questions with WH question words. Ok. So, let's start with this. Um, so, we have, where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Where does he work? What time, sorry, what does he do? How does he like it? Where do you, where do they work? What do they do? How do they like it? Okay, so these are questions. These are these are information questions. These are questions that um, that give us more information about a topic. So let's start first of all with the question word where. What does where mean? Can someone tell me what is the meaning of where? What is where in Spanish? Donde. Donde. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And then we have is a what do you do? So we have what? What is the meaning of what? Donde trabajas tú. Okay. But the word what? What does it mean? What is the meaning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Actually, it's it's really K. Okay. Yeah. So, K. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then we have, how do you like it? What is how? Cool. What is it? Right, very good. Okay, so how is como? Yeah. Right, okay, so where do you work? What is the meaning of where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Donde trabajas, very good. Okay. Excellent. And the answer, you're not going to answer just yes or no. You're not going to say yes, yes, I do, no, I don't. You're going to answer with uh, information, with complete information. So you're going to say in a hospital. Okay. What do you do? What does that mean? What do you do? ¿De qué trabajo? Right. Yeah. It literally means what do you do is ¿qué es lo que haces? Pero no qué es lo que haces eh, como de, um, qué es lo que estás haciendo. That's different. This one is qué es lo que haces como de trabajo. Profesor. Okay? Yeah, exactly, occupation. So you say, I'm a doctor. How do you like it? What does it mean, how do you like it? What does it mean? How do you like it? ¿Cuánto te gusta o cómo te gusta? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo te gusta? Uh -huh. O sea, ¿te gusta o no te gusta? ¿Qué, piens ¿Qué piensas? Right? So you say, I really like it. Where does he work? Spanish, what is, where does he work? Donde trabaja él. Donde trabaja él, exactly. Donde trabaja él. And so you're going to say in a hotel. You're going to give information. What does he do? ¿Qué hace él? ¿Qué hace él? ¿Qué hace él? He's a manager. How does he like it? How does he like it? What does that mean? How does he like it? How does he like it? ¿Qué significa? Mm -hmm. No ideas? How does he like it? So this one, you said that how do you like it is como te gusta, right? So, ¿qué te parece en otras palabras? So this one, how does he like it? What does it mean? Como, como lo hace él, algo así. ¿Qué le parece a él? Ajá, ajá, exacto. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué le parece? ¿Cómo le gusta? ¿Verdad? And you say, it's okay. It's okay. Está, está bien. Okay? okay? All right. Next, where do you work? What does it mean, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajan ellos? Yeah, where, sorry, where do they work? That's right. Yeah, ¿dónde trabajan ellos? And you say, in a restaurant. What do they do? What do they do? ¿De qué trabajan ellos? ¿Qué, qué, qué hacen ellos? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hacen ellos? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hacen ellos? What do they do? ¿Qué hacen ellos? Ellos. They, They're waiters. Uh, why you? They wait. what, what are waiters? ¿Alguien me puede recordar what are waiters? Right, very good. And the next one, how do they like it? How do they like it? What does that mean? 
how do they like it? Como. Uh -huh. Como, como les gusta a ellos. Como les gusta a ellos, ¿verdad? Como que les parece, exacto. Ok, very good. And you say, they, they hate it. They, they hate it. What is, they hate it? Ellos lo odian. Uh -huh. Sí, no, no les gusta, lo odian. Ok. Um, ok, now. Uh, all right, so the, these are WH question words. Now, something you will notice about WH question words, we always start with where, what, how, who, et cetera, et cetera, um, at the beginning. In fact, let's talk about other WH question words. Um, what are other WH question words? We have who, what is who? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Um why? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm? Sorry? Mm, por qué? Por qué exactly? Por qué? Por qué? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have um Quiero ver, quiero ver. Who, why, where, why? When? What is when? Cuando. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. And um, we can also have how much? What is how much? Okay. Cuanto. Cuanto. Very good. Mm. And how many? Cuanto también, pero es pre contable. Yeah, so it'd be like cuantos. Mm. Right. Right, cuantos. And then we can ask which. What is he, which? Cual. Cual. Very good. Exactly. And those are pretty much the ones that are the most common. So we always start with the question word. We're always going to start with where, what, how, who, why, when, how much, how many, which. Always start the question with the question word, okay? After the question word, we use um, we use do, where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? Where do you work? What do you do? How do they like it? So we're always going to continue with do or does. Okay? Is that pretty clear? Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. But now you tell me what goes next after do? What goes next? What goes next? What is this? What is this? What do you call this? Pronoun. Mm -hmm. What kind of pronoun? Personal pronoun. Mm -hmm. And more specific? The subject, the subject pronoun. Okay? So we need to know who is doing the action. 
Is it I? Is it you? Is it he? Is it she? Is it it? Is it we? Is it they? What, what is the subject? Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yeah? Okay. And after that, what do we do? What is this? It's a verb. It's the verb, exactly. It's the verb. And it's the verb in the base form. We don't change it, even if it's it, in the third person singular with he, she, and it. It doesn't matter where the verb is always going to be in the base form. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so just to make sure we understand this, we have the WH question word or phrase. After that, we have the do or the does. After that, we have the subject. And after that, we have the verb in the base form. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? You have any questions about that? Any questions, guys? Yes, no, maybe. Please tell me. Oh. No? No. Okay, so this is clear for everybody? Yeah? Okay. All right, I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to send this to you in the group just to make sure that you do have it and that you understand it. Just give me a moment while I find So I send it to you right now in the group. I'm hoping that you received it. Did you already receive it? Yeah, you have it in the group? Yes, no. Chicos, you have it in the group, you, you see it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you in the same group I'm going to send you a um, an exercise that I also want you to do in pairs so I want you to solve the exercise um, in pairs using the information that I just sent you okay so I'm going to um I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Okay. And I'm going to give you about five minutes because I don't think you need too, too much time. It's going to be about two or three people in the group. So you should be fine. Okay. So here we go. I'm opening the rooms.
Um, guys, do you have any questions, any problems that you have? Do you have questions or problems? Hello? Yeah. Hello, Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, do you have any questions or problems? No, Croco, no. Okay, so I want you to work together and try to figure it out and and um, yeah okay so i want to hear you speaking okay dula este ahí lo que vamos a hacer es completar complete the, complete the question eh uh, bueno dice what does your sister do my sister, she's an, a nerd. Uh, what, in the part of you think is, what does she like it? What do you think? No, sería, how does she like it? Mm, bien, creo que sí, está bien. Mm -hmm. How does she like it? Uh, En la otra de abajo, pienso yo que sería. Where does your brother work? Where? Dice, at the. Airport, he's a pilot. Okay. In uh, he said, uh, no sé la verdad. Guarda. How oh, does he like it? Ahí sí que es así, ¿verdad? How does he like it? Ajá, cabal. He doesn't really like it. Uh, he doesn't really like it. Mm -hmm. A él no le gusta mucho. Mm -hmm. Y la otra sería, how your parent... No sé. Yeah, how do you think? Okay. Mm. What do you think in the, in the, in the, in the tree? How do your parents like their jokes? Ah, uh, come on. The answer is, oh, I guess they like them. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Uh, where, where do they work? Uh huh. Yes. In an office in the city. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I am a student. Mm -hmm. I see. How do you like your classes? There, there you got. I like that a lot. Mm hmm. ¿Cuál sería la última? Uh, how do you like your classes? Uh -huh.
Apa ahli Ustaz Ria? Yes. Okay, guys, so we're going to be checking the answers. Um, please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have the first one. What does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Next question. Oh. What's the next question? Next question. Oops. Next question, guys. Class, could you please give me the next question? Is it the same as as the the example? Exactly the same as the example. Hmm. Si no me equivoco, es how do you, how does. Very good. How does she like, like, it, it? like it? Like it. Very good. And the same. And the same as the example. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Number number two. Where that? Good. Where? Where does your brother work? Where does your brother works? Like this? I see. No, she likes. Why? Porque se nace. Ya tenemos el auxiliar das. Very good, exactly. So we only put the verb in the base form. We do not change the verb. Okay, so the verb has to be in the original form, work. Okay, so where does your brother work? At the airport, he's a pilot. Oh. Next question. How does he like it? Good, excellent. How does he like, like it? Yes, wonderful. How does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Good. Next, number three. How? Oh. Oh, How, very good. How do your parents like? Excellent. How do your parents like 
their jobs. Yeah. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. I don't remember. Where do they work? Very good. Where do they work? Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Where do they work? In an office in the city. Mm -hmm. Next. Number four. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, good. What? What do you do? Do excellent. What do you do? I'm a student. I see. Mm -hmm. Next question. How do you like your class? How do you like, like your class? Good. How do you like? Your classes, they're good. I like them a lot. Very good. Any questions at this moment? No question. No, no questions at all? Okay. All right, very good. Uh, stop sharing here okay so do you feel that you understand those qu the questions do you understand the questions no yes. Question. yes yes okay very good okay so let's look at a conversation here between Richard and Stephanie. Okay. And uh, please tell me as well if you can see the conversation. You see the conversation? Yeah, can see the conversation. Yes. Okay, yes. all right. So here, I'm we're going. I'm going to listen. I'm going to repeat. Say the the conversation. I want you to listen and repeat. So I say, "Hey, Stephanie." Repeat. Hey, hey. Stephanie. Yes, yes, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. I heard. I, I, hear, you I heard you have a new, a new job. job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln. Is that yes, I'm teaching, I'm teaching math at Lincoln. I'm teaching math at Lincoln. I'm teaching, I'm teaching math, math at Lincoln. Lincoln High School. Oh, sorry, Lincoln High School. I'm sorry. Lincoln High School. Lincoln High School. Lincoln High School. How do you like it? Like How it? do you like it? It's great. It's great. Right. Right. The students are terrific. They are terrific. How are things with you? Our team How are you? With you? Okay, let me repeat that. How are things with you? How, How are things with you? With you? Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm a firefighter now. I'm a firefighter now. You know. You know. You know. You know. That's exciting. That's exciting. That's exciting. exciting. 
Yes, but it's a very stressful job. Yes, but it's yes, a very stressful job. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. Stressful job. Stressful. It's a very stressful, stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, good. All right, so let me ask you, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Any questions about the vocabulary? Okay, so what is math? What is math? Mathematics. Mathematics. Good. Okay. Excellent. What is high school? Bachillerato. Bachillerato. Okay. Very good. What is terrific? Fantastico. Is, huh? Fantastico. Fantastico. Excelente. Okay. So be, be careful because terrific is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Okay? Okay. So the students are terrific. Is, los estudiantes son fantásticos. Son excelente. So it's good. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what is firefighter? Bombero. 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 Very good. What is exciting? Eso es emocionante. Okay, good. Emocionante. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Very very good. Um, stressful. What is stressful? Estresante. Estresante. Very good. Okay, and then we have dangerous. What is dangerous? Peligroso. Peligroso. Very good. So dangerous. You say dangerous, not dangerous. It's not dangerous, it's dangerous. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, repeat after me math. 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 High school. High school. High school. High school. Terrific. Terrific. Firefighter. Bye -bye. Exciting. 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 Stressful. Dreadful. Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, very good. Bravo. All right. Now, any questions about that? No. No? Okay. No. So I'm going to show you a picture of different jobs and you're gonna tell me what you think is the right adjective to, um, to describe the jobs, okay? For example, look at number one, look at number one. The woman, does she look like she likes her job? No. A, no, not really. Yeah, it it looks like she is she she's not having a good a good time. So she looks she sound, looks like it's boring. Boring. Yeah. Boring. 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 Yeah, exactly. Good. Okay. What about number two? What is her profession? Chef. 
she's a chef. chef. That's right. She's a chef. What do you think would be a good way to describe her job? Hmm? How would you describe her job? So she's a chef. What kind of job would you do you think she has? Interesting, exciting. Okay, interesting. Okay, could be interesting. You mm. said exciting. Any other way that you can describe your job? What do you think? Look at her, look at her pic at the picture. How would you say that her job is? Interesting, exciting, what else? Any other words? No? Okay. No. All right. What about this woman? How would you describe her job? Singer. Singer. She's a singer. That's right. Very good. And how would you say her job is? <laughs> what would be her a good a good way to describe her job? So this woman's job is boring. What is boring? Aburrido. Aburrido, right. And we said that here, she, her job is interesting. What is interesting? Interesante. Interesante. And exciting? Emocionante. Emocionante. Good. Okay. What about number three? How would you say her job is? ¿Cómo se mira el trabajo de ella? Exciting. Exciting? Okay. It could be exciting. Anything else? Anything else? ¿Qué piensan? ¿Cómo mm. describiría el trabajo de ella? Dígame en español. Eh, como... Uh -huh. Como difícil, tal vez, vea, porque... Ok. Very good. How do you say difícil in English? Difficult. Difficult, right. Very good. Difficult. Good. Excellent. Okay. Any other ways that you can describe her job? How would you describe her job? Any other ways? Um, no sé cómo decir, pero talentoso. Oh, okay. Right. Um, okay. Yes, she needs to have talent. But how did yeah. we're talking about how it makes her feel? Mm -hmm. How how does she like her job? What does she think of her job? Que piensa que ella de su trabajo. So we can say, ah, que es, que es emocionante, que es difícil. How else would you describe it? Anything else? <clears throat> Wonderful. Wonderful, okay. Yeah. Wonderful, sure. What's wonderful in Spanish? What is one? Maravilloso, mm -hmm. good, okay. And what about the last one? What is her job? Interesting. Okay, and, but what is her job? What What is the name of her job? Pilot. Okay, 
Yes, though we don't say, we don't pronounce it pilot. We say pilot. Pilot. Yeah, pilot. 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 Okay. Pilot. All right, so she's the pilot. And what kind of, how can we describe her job? Complicated. Complicated, okay. All right, what else? What other words? And Derani. Huh? Entertaining. Entertaining. Okay. Entertaining. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's stressful. Yeah, I was thinking of that word. You can say that her job seems to be stressful. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you think that we can say that her job is dangerous? Yes. yes. Yeah, dangerous, right? What is dangerous? Peligroso, right? Okay. But maybe also her job might be terrific. Maybe she likes her job. What is terrific? What did we say was Fantastico. terrific? Fantastico. Fantastico. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Teresa. Okay. Excellent. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. No? Okay. Now, I want you to look at... Well, tell me if you can see my screen. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the placement of adjectives. So adjectives are the words that we've been describing. Dangerous, entertaining, amazing, fantastic, um, a terrific, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there are two ways that we can use adjectives. Adjectives can either be used, we can use it with a, after the verb to be, okay? So first we put be and then an ad the adjective, or you can do an adjective and after an adjective, we put a noun. So there are two ways that we can do this, okay? Does that, make, does that make sense? So it depends on what we're going to be using. If we're using the verb to be, we're going to put it after the verb to be. If we're using uh, an adjective, sorry, a noun, we're going to put it before the adjective. So for example, we say a fighter fighter's job is dangerous, is dangerous. So we have the verb to be, and after the verb to be, we use the adjective dangerous. Or a doctor's job is stressful. A doctor's job is stressful. Okay, so we have dangerous and stressful or adjectives and they come after the verb to be, okay? But we can also use it with nouns. For example, we can say a firefighter has a dangerous job. So here we're using dangerous and after dangerous, we have the 
noun, job. Or we have, for example, a, doc a doctor has a stressful, I'm sorry, a stressful, and after job, and then we say, after the stressful, we have the job, a stressful job. Okay. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions? So pretty much we can say the same sentence in two or the same idea in two different ways. We can say a firefighter's job is dangerous or a, da a firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor's job is stressful or a doctor has a stressful job. It's like when you say in Spanish, a firefighter's job is dangerous. El, tra el trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. O un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso. It's the same idea. Or a doctor's job is stressful. El trabajo de un doctor es estresante. Or a doctor has a stressful job. Un doctor tiene un trabajo estresante. Yeah. You can say it in two different ways. Okay? So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to put you in pairs. And I need you to solve this idea. You're going to put, you're going to say the two sentences in two different ways. So you can say, for example, a musician's job is interesting or a musician has an interesting job. Do you understand what to do? Tengo una pregunta. Mm -hmm, of course. Cuando lleve entonces el verbo to be, va a ir después el adjetivo. Cuando no lo lleve, va a ir el adjetivo antes de... Sí. Right. Sí. Okay, so, be, after we put, if we have the verb to be, then you put the, mm -hmm. the adjective after. So, mm -hmm. is, are, am, and then, and then the adjective. So, if you say, am tall, is short, um, are happy, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Okay. And then, mm -hmm. in, if you have a noun, a noun is un sustantivo, mm -hmm. right? You're going to put it after the adjective. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay. for example, eh, un, un, for example, um, una niña feliz. Estamos escribiendo la niña. Right? Una niña feliz. Mm -hmm. So, she, um, so a happy girl. She is a happy girl. Yeah? Entonces okay. tenemos primero el adjetivo, happy, y el noun is girl. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do right now is send you the picture. Um, can you see the picture I just sent to you? Es que como que, que yo entiendo que es como, como dependiendo como diga la frase, como a, así va a armar la oración. O sea, vamos a ponerlo de dos diferentes maneras. Uh -huh. Como le digo, es como decir, una manera es, eh, el trabajo de un doctor es estresante o, eh, o, por ejemplo, el, doc el doctor, un doctor tiene, tiene un, un trabajo, trabajo estresante. Exacto. Uh -huh. So, la misma idea expresada de dos formas distintas. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. All right, perfect. So, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms once again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and here we go. We're opening the rooms. Raul, are you there? Raul? La, la, así como, como dijo ella. Sí, así como está, el, como está el primer ejemplo. Ahí depende de, de cómo usted, digamos, pronuncie la, la oración. Eh, así este. Tiene que como que, que formular la, la oración. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, eh, en el primer ejemplo que dice, a musician Joe is interesting, que dice que el trabajo de un músico es interesante. Uh -huh. Pero ya si decimos que el, 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 un músico tiene un trabajo interesante, eh, ya lo vamos a pronunciar, ya lo vamos a poner de forma diferente. Uh -huh. Ahí ya le quita el to be y le pone el, el has, has. Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, si quiere, hagamos la dos. Batch. Eh, en la oración dice que eh, el trabajo de un atleta es emocionante. En Atlas Job is exciting. Eh, de la otra forma sería um, um, atlet sin la S. Uh -huh. Ya cuando vamos a utilizar el has, ya no se pone la S. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería um, atlet has, has uh, exciting. Ex uh -huh. Yo, ¿a que sí? Ajá, uh -huh, sí. La tres, ¿cómo quedará? Eh, allow yours. Allow yours. Allow yours. Has a stressful uh -huh. job. Has, has a... Uh, mhm uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, has a... Uh, la cuatro sería a security as a security guard ah no aquí está diferente ¿no? es de pasarlo al otro a la otra Ajá. Entonces quedaría Ahí sí, no, no sé a dónde se le pondría la S. Mm -hmm. Security words sería, me imagino que en la en, 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 sería a security words. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con eso. Words. Ya. Yeah. Is. Boring. Las cinco. Sería a photographer. Ahí sería de poner la S. Ajá, exacto. Is a 
No, pero ahí sería Joe, después de a photographer, Joe is difficult. Difficult. Uh -huh. Okay. Y la última. A police officers. Uh -huh. Joe, Joe is. is uh -huh. Eso sería todo. Okay. No le quedaron dudas. Ah. Quizás cuando uno los está haciendo, tal vez los entiende. Uh -huh. Pero de repente hay cositas así como, como de repente la cuatro que le cambió el sentido ya. Ah, uh -huh. Desoriento un poco, pero creo que estamos bien. Pero para que en la plataforma creo que había un ejercicio de eso, ¿verdad? No. Sí, había ah, uno sí. de eso. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero así con quizás con oraciones sencillas. Uh -huh. No, no siento que cueste mucho ahorita comprender. Uh -huh. Okay, so are you finished? Yes, finished. Okay. Yes. All right, I'll see you in the main room. Okay, all right, guys and girls, we're gonna be checking. You're you're finished, right? I'm 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 hoping that you're finished. Am I correct? Yes, we're finished. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm going to share. Okay, tell me if you can see my screen. Yeah? You can see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have yeah, the first one has been done for you. We say a musician job is interesting. A musician has an interesting job. Number two, an athlete is an athlete's job is exciting. What is another way we can say this? An athletic job. Mm -hmm. 
and athletes. Class. Job. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Exciting. But it's the same. That's the same. Yes. How would make we make it different? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer diferente? And athletes has an exciting job. Exactly. It's good. So an athlete has an exciting job. Okay? All right, is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Let's go for the next one. Number three, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has an stressful job. Okay, very good. Exactly. A lawyer has a stress job. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Number four. A security guard has a boring job. The security squad a security guard oh, is boring. Security job. Uh, sorry, sorry, a security guard. Yeah. Job. Job, yeah. Is boring. Is boring. Good. All right, excellent. Number five, a photographer has a difficult job. A photographer. Job is difficult. Uh, photographer. Photographer's job Go. Is, difficult? is difficult. Good. Okay. <clears throat> and the last one, a police officer has a dangerous job. A police officer's job is dangerous. A police this officer officer job. Officer officer's dangerous job no, is, is dangerous. 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 Good. Yes. Okay, yes. we pronounce it dangerous. 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 Yes. Dangerous. Okay. Good. Dangerous. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Do you have any questions or no? No questions? No, no questions. Uh, I have a question. Okay. How do you pronounce photographer? Oh, okay. Photographer. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Athletic. Okay. You say athlete. 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 Mm -hmm. athlete. Correct. Athlete. Athlete. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, all right. Anything else? Any other questions that you have? No. No questions? No questions. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so what we'll do then is um, I'm going to show you some questions. I want you to tell me if you can see these questions. 
See the questions? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have a question. We're going to be asking, we're going to be working in pairs. So you're going to be asking your partner, or in some cases, it'll be partners, plural. So you're going to say, do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do exactly? Exactly. So everybody, I know everybody works in the same place, but that question of what do you do exactly? What does it mean? What do you do exactly? Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you have to describe your job. Okay. So, eh, yeah, muy probablemente la mayoría de ustedes tengan diferentes responsabilidades en el trabajo. So you can describe your job. Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like your job? What do you do after work? Do you understand these questions? Do you understand the questions or no? Yes. Sí, ¿me entiende la pregunta? Yeah. Sí. Yes. Okay. And now then you're going to ask your partner about their 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 family or their friend. You're going to say, tell me about your mom, for example, or tell me about your best friend, or tell me about your husband, um, tell me about your sister, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, where does he work? Where does she work? What does he or she do exactly? The same questions, but about to your partner's uh, family or friend. Do we understand? Yes, no. Do we understand? Yes or no? Do you understand the questions? Mm, not tanto. Okay, which questions do you not understand? What what question do you not understand? Do you understand the questions? Hola. Hello. I understand it. Do you understand the questions? Entienden las preguntas? Yes. Y si no la entienden, díganme cuál. Para bueno, yo sí entiendo, pero no sé los demás. Okay. It's okay. Yo también no al cien por ciento, pero pero algunas sí logro logro comprender lo que la pregunta dice. Okay. Which one do you not understand, Guillermo? Which one mm -hmm. is not clear? Eh, pues, por ejemplo, mm, la primera, text may have a job. Do you have a job? La primera es, do you have a job? Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, ¿esa pregunta no la entiende? Sí. Do you have a job? Mm -hmm. No, tell me about your, le dijo él. No, tell me about your. Oh, okay. So tell me about your sister. Hablame mm -hmm. de tu hermana. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about your sister. Tell me about your wife. Mm, yeah, okay. Tell me Hablame about your best friend. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. All right. Okay, so it's clear? We understand the questions? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So you're going to be interviewing. It's an interview with your classmate. Okay? Okay. 
All right, perfect. So I'm going to right now, um, I'm going to send you these questions in the WhatsApp group. Okay. ¿Todo lo tiene? Sí, ya cayó. Ya cayó, perfecto. Ok, suena como, como cuando dicen ya cayó la rata. <risa> <risa> ok. Sí, así All right, so. Hoy, hoy ya llegó. Ya llegó, perfecto. Ok, so I'm going to put you into the breakout rooms so you can ask and answer your partner. Okay, um, here we go. I'm opening the groups. Oh, actually, I'm going to give you a little bit more time. I'm going to give you about eight minutes. Here we go. It is that? Uh, are you having problems? It is that? Entendió bien la pregunta. Eh, sí, que hagamos una conversación, eh, con, eh, que hablemos una conversación con, con, a, haciendo esas preguntas. Vaya, si quiere, eh, le hago yo la pregunta o viceversa. Una cada uno, si quiere. De, no sé, bueno. con, va. Eh, ¿Te yo? Yes, I have a yo. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. Yes. Uh, where do you work? I work in a hay brown. Okay. <laughs> una cada uno, no? Simón, una cada uno. Vaya, tendría que hacérmelo usted ahora, no? Ah. Uh -huh. La pregunta. What do you exactly? What do uh, you exactly in uh, your job? What do uh, you do exactly? I am quality control. Uh, uh, is your job interesting? Uh, yes, my job is interesting. What time do you start work? Uh, I start work at 7 o'clock and in, in the night I start work at six o'clock. Thank you. When do you finish work? Uh, I finish work at six o'clock p.m. And in, in the night, I finish work at 6 a.m. Um, do you like it, Joe? Do you like, do you like your job? Yes, I like it. Uh, what do you do after work? I go to home. 
No. Uh, the other ask about the classmates, a friend or family member. Tell me about your your wife. Where does she work? Uh, she's utility. Oh. Uh, what does she do exactly? She is right, Daniel. She? She. She providing. She checking the specification. Mm -hmm. They say, what time does she start work? Uh, she is work. She she start. She start work at seven o'clock. When does she finish work? Yeah. She finished work at six o'clock. Does she like it? his job? Her job? I do. I do. Okay. Bye. La otra is. Uh, why do you do your star work? A eso no le comprendo. ¿Lo cual? No, ¿qué? La, la, la otra dice, es tu trabajo interesante. Is you, is... Ajá, e esa ya la respondimos. Sí, yes. lo es. Uh -huh. Sí, lo es. Sí, lo es. Es decir, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Vaya, y la otra es, what did you, cuánto, como cuánto tiempo tiene de estar en tu trabajo, algo así. Ah. What time do you start? ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene de estar en tu trabajo? Entonces acá quizás le, le tenemos que poner como con número, ¿verdad? Ajá. Bueno, en mi caso sería entonces Twitter. Ya. Yeah. Twitter. Eh... No. Dice que a qué horas empiezas a trabajar. Ah, ok. Habla de hoy. Ajá, porque dice cuatro times. What time do you, do you start, start work? work? Entonces at sería... At 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, ajá. Uh -huh. At... 7 o'clock. Clock. 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 Clubs. Oh, I seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Ajá. La otra sería. When do you finish work? A, como que a qué horas termina. Mm. A qué horas termina. Entonces aquí sería at eh, six o'clock. ¿Verdad que sí? Um, no. Ah, bien, pero no. Tiene que ser. Como en la hora militar son las 18 horas. Ah, ok. Entonces, sí. entering. En, entering. Entering. No. Up, entering. Ajá. No, porque entering es 8. In, in, normally en in inglés, we just say at 8 in the morning or 8 at night or 6. In the morning or six in the evening. 
in the area. Right. Yeah. Or we can say 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., 6 a.m., okay. uh, 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. So no, no, we normally don't use military hour. Normally. Okay. What? The three at six at six p.m. At six. So at six p.m. P.m. Mm -hmm. Solo si no le ponemos at club. No, porque ahí está no. diciendo que salías a las seis de la tarde o de la noche, o que lo pongas p.m. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pero si lleva la at, verdad? At six. At PM. Vaya, la otra dice. Do you like? Do you like your work? work? Como que si no te gusta tanto trabajo. Eh, yes, good. Good do. Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes. Yes, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. I I like, like? it. Like. Uh -huh. Yes, I like, like it. Him. Yes, I like him. Para la siguiente dice What do you ask the word? After, after. ¿Cuál? ¿Qué, ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces después del trabajo? Recibimos anteriormente. Correcto. ¿Cómo va la plataforma? Ya hiciste el 3. La 4, me dijeron que ah, terminara ya. la. Ah, Solo ah, uno ah, me ah. falta. Y el, el, ¿cómo se dice? El, el, el examen de, de intermedio. El Mitzer. El Mitzer. Ajá, ese sería como el. Eh, como examen así de, de intermedio. O, ¿O qué significa? La verdad no sé. Ah. No. Ajá, uh -huh. solo una me falta. Solo te falta el examen final, entonces, y la cinco. Ajá, ajá. Eh, esta semana quiero ver si, si la termino. Uh -huh. Un, un, un rato vamos a hacer eso. Sí, sí, sí algo raro. Un día que te pongas. No, me sí, como que en... en me... Hoy, Dula. Hi, Guillermo. Hi. Eh, bueno, no sé por dónde ibas. Fíjate que estaba con, con Raúl. Ah, aunque creo que hay cuatro participantes, dice. Oh. Bueno, eh, yo ahorita iba eh, a empezar. La, la, la... Guillermo, ¿y su, su esposita? Eh, te desconectaste. Está cargando todavía, dice, eh, cuando la, le cambió de, de, de grupo. Ajá, sí, eh, es que vi que no se pudo se meter. Está cargando. Ajá. Y está como así, como, como cargando. Ok, va, entonces, eh, ¿cree que, que reinicia el ah, teléfono? Sí. Mire. Ajá. 
Vale, trate de reiniciar el teléfono por, y, y, y Ajá, quizás probablemente. hace eso le, le, le puede ayudar. Porque uh -huh. si no, no, no se va a meter. O sea, porque ya lleva como 10 minutos casi tratando de meterse y no, uh -huh. no puede. Ok. Ahí está, ahorita lo van a decir. Ok, uh -huh. perfecto. Ok, so we are going to continue, guys. And right now we're going to be looking at a different topic. We're looking at the topic of food. Okay. So we're, we're going to be looking at different types of food. And we're, we're actually going to start from the bottom up. Okay. So the biggest group of food is what we call grains. What do you call grains in Spanish? Granos. Granos, Granos. exactly, very good. Okay, so we're gonna talk about grains. The first one is bread. Repeat after me, bread. 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 Good, okay. Uh, then we have cereal. 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 Yeah. Good. Uh, then we have crackers. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Then we have rice. 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 Mm -hmm. Rice. I thought. Right. Then we have noodles. 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 And finally, pasta. 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 Okay. Do we understand uh, what is? Uh -huh. Yes. Hay, much, hay muchas cosas de acá que se dicen así como en el español. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, sorry, the, the only thing is that, for example, cereal, we, we don't say cereal, it's cereal. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, it's not pasta, but pasta, pa, pasta, pasta. Mm -hmm. Good. Pasta. All right, mm -hmm. what are crackers? Can somebody tell me what are crackers? I don't know what I mean. What are crackers? ¿Alguien sabe? Como galletas. Galletas. Pero qué clase de galletas? Um, crackers. I don't yeah. know. O sea, serían serían como galletas Oreo? No. Mm -hmm. Como de trigo. Yeah, so crackers are salty. So serían galletas? Salada. Saladas, exactly. Galletas saladas. That's crackers. Okay. What are noodles? Fideos. Fideos, very good. Okay, excellent. Now let's talk about fruit. Okay? Fruit. We understand fruit? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then we have bananas. 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 Good. Apples. Apples. Uh -huh. Apples. 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 Mangoes. 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 Mango. Good. Strawberries. 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 Good. Strawberries. Oranges. 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 Good. Do we understand? the vocabulary for fruit? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Then we have vegetables. 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 Good. So it's not vegetables. Vegetables, no. 
it's vegetables. it's not vegetables no tampoco it's vegetables 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 very good vegetables okay we have broccoli 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 good okay and we have carrots 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 not carrots carrots Good. Then we have lettuce. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. Correct. Exactly. So it's not lettuce. Lettuce, no. Lettuce. 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 Uh -huh. Muy bien. De hecho, les voy a, les voy a comentar uh, un truquito. O oh, no un truquito, es, 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 es más que todo, es una regla. In American English, when you have a vowel and a T and another vowel, the, the T sounds like an R. Like it's called a flap T. Eh, Así que cuando vean que esto es en, 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 en la pronunciación americana, cuando vean que una T está entre medio de vocales, mmm, cambiamos esa T por un sonido como, eh, como una R, una R suave. So it's not, le, it's not letters, it's letters, es una R suave. Lettuce. Lettuce. Okay. Lettuce. Okay. Ajá. Como que solo llevar una R que no lleva la dos. Correct. Yeah. Ajá. Lettuce. Okay. Then we have potatoes. 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 Ah, palabra como que fuera italiana. Yeah. Me suena, pero. <laughs> Could be, yeah. Okay. Tomatoes. 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 Okay. No es tomatoes, okay? It's tomatoes. 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 Yes. Questions? No question. No question. No question. No okay. question. All right. Good. Let's talk about meat and other proteins. What are meats and other proteins? In Spanish, what, what are meats and other proteins? Carne y otras proteínas. Carnes y otras proteínas, Exactly. Very good. So, we have fish. 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 Pescado. Fish. Pescado. Very good. Beans. 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 What are beans? Frijolito. Frijoles. Frijoles. Very good. Casi no lo conocemos aquí. Es... No, casi no. Casi no. <laughs> <laughs> Frijolero por naturaleza. <laughs> okay. Chicken. 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 Do not confuse chicken with kitchen. Okay, no lo confundan. So this is chicken, not kitchen. Okay, chicken. Chicken, chicken. chicken. very good. Okay. Um, uh, beef. 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 What is beef? Beef. Carne. Carne. Carne de res. Exactly. Carne de res. Um, eggs. Y si, fue, si fuera otro tipo de carne, por ejemplo, de, de, de cerdo, se escribe diferente. That would be pork. Okay, pork is, is um, 
es uh, ¿cómo se llama? Cerdo. 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 Pork. So pig. No, pig is pig is el animal. Uh -huh. Pork es la es la carne del animal. All right. Mm. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Es como es como res. Uh -huh. Res se uh -huh. refiere a la a la carne, pero el animal no es res, es es um, vaca. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Um, and then we have nuts. Nuts. Everybody repeat nuts. 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 Yeah. Okay. Do you know nuts? No, I don't know. No idea so, nuts? Yes. Huh? Me perdí un poco. Me perdí un poco. Están en huevos. Nuts. No, nuts. No, no, nuts. Ah, okay. no. I don't know. No idea what are nuts? No, no. Nuts. Semilla. Nueces. 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 Mm -hmm. Nueces. Nuts. Okay. Then we have dairy. What is dairy? Dairy? Lact lactose. Yeah, lactose. Uh huh. Good. Yogurt. 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 So it's not yogurt. Yogurt, no. It's yogurt. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Cheese. 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 Mm -hmm. Milk. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Potatoes. Pot Potatoes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Perdón. Antes que empe cheese. Perdón. Antes que empecemos con esto. Esto es fat, oil, and sugar. Repeat. Repeat. Fat, oil, and sugar. Fat, fat oil, and sugar. sugar. Fat, oil, and sugar. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Sugar. What is fat? <coughs> Grasa. Grasa. Mm -hmm. Oil. Aceite. Aceite. Sugar. Azúcar. Azúcar, morena. Azúcar. Mm, solo azúcar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Cream. 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 Good. What is cream? Cream. Crema. 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 Very good. Okay. Candy. 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 Repeat. Candy. 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 Mm -hmm. What is candy? Dulce. Dulces. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Potato chips. Potato, potato chips. chips. Potato chips. What are potato chips? Papas. Las papas. De embolsada. Mm -hmm. Papitas. Mm -hmm. Okay, papitas. Eh. Rice. Mm -hmm. Rice. Okay. Oil. 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 Aceite. Oil. Oil. Repeat, oil. 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 Mm -hmm. oil. And what is oil? Aceite. Aceite. Good. And the last one is butter. 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 Repeat. Butter. 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 Okay, good. What is butter? Mantequilla. Mantequilla. Very good. Okay. Any questions? No. No. No, no questions at all? No. Okay. Okay. Bueno, vamos entonces a terminar nuestra clase de hoy acá.
Y antes de continuar, necesito, o oh, mucho antes de terminar la clase, necesito tomar asistencia. Así es de que me hace el favor. Y please turn on, turn on your microphone and, um, and let me know that you're here if you hear your name. Eh, Carlos Armando Durán. Carlos Armando. Ok. Douglas Enrique Genoves. Present. Excellent. Um, Eduardo Alexander Álvarez. Eric Fernando Enríquez. Eric Fernando Enríquez. Um, Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Gladys Marina Luna. Gladys Marina Luna. Guillermo Enrique Acosta. Present. Ok, wonderful. José Eduardo Cruz. José Eduardo Cruz. Leila Arminda Valladares. Leila Arminda Valladares. Pedro Miguel Rodríguez. Present. Ok, wonderful. Eh, Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Raúl Alfredo Castaneda Flores. Sara Sara Beatriz Valencia de Palacios. Sara Beatriz Valencia. Eh, Susana Guadalupe Navas. Susana Guadalupe Navas. Eh, Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. Wonderful. And Wilmer Andrés Menara. Ok. Bueno, chicos, entonces eso sería todo por el día de hoy. Hemos terminado nuestra clase. Definitivamente, bueno, ya de hecho hemos terminado eh, oficialmente la unidad 3. Entonces, um, sí se espera que, hayan ter que terminen la, la plataforma eh, este fin de semana, ¿verdad? Y eh, vamos a tener clase ¿cuándo? El lunes, el próximo lunes. El próximo lunes, correcto. Entonces, el próximo lunes eh, estaríamos, estaríamos ya, bueno, ya empezamos la unidad 4. Uh, vamos a continuar con la 4. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me pueden hacer y deberían de ya, de hecho, ya estar en, también empezando la unidad 4. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita antes que terminamos? No. ¿No? No. Yes. Ok. All right. In that case, everybody, take care. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Monday. Bye bye. See you Monday. This Monday, not next Monday. This Monday. This Monday. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye.